Hey everybody, Jessica here. Welcome back to Jess Unsolicited. Um, happy Sunday, right? Sunday fun day. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, anger. So basically, um, the root of it. Where, you know, where does it come from? Why do we react that way? Stuff like that. Because we're all, you know, we're all guilty of it. Some more than others. Um, and kind of what spawned it is the little town I live in, they're like real messy, you know, like drama and stuff like that. And um, they have this page that, like, they have like two pages. Like one is like, they post everybody's mug shots and then the second page is like, they kind of go into detail about like why people were arrested and like little story and stuff. And uh, I'm like reading why these people, you know, like why they're fighting with their spouses and family members and stuff like that. And it's just like so petty, you know, it's like the dumbest stuff. It's like so trivial to me. And I was like, why, why, you know, like, why are they so angry? And I was like, well, damn, you know, like the whole world is like really angry right now for good reason. And, um, so it's like, what? And of course I've dealt with extremely angry people and, all I like I can think about is it's a lack of control when people don't um, have control of a situation or a person or a thing or you know whatever um, a lot of times they react in anger and that you know is on all levels it can be something you know just small anger it could blow up into huge you know huge things that you know causing people to put hands on folks right sorry I'm outside it's it's just really pretty and quiet early this morning so um, anyhow so I'm, I'm you know going through and I'm thinking about like okay all these different like levels of like why people get mad and stuff so I'm like all right sporting events men are getting mad because their teams are losing why because they can't control the outcome they can't control what their team's doing they can't control you know what the opponents are doing or what the refs are calling um, road rage, why, you know, people get so pissed off in their cars, they can't control the traffic, they can't control what other drivers are doing, right? So it's all basis, you know, like, lack of control. And, you know, brings me to, you know, one of my exes, like, his anger was out of this world, like, seriously, um, and it would be, become physically abusive, like, and, um, because I couldn't be controlled. Um, um, you know, some people, I don't know, they work very hard, I guess, to try to try to control someone. You know, this, this is my house. Like, I pay these bills. I don't, I don't, no one's going to come in and, like, control a situation that I've created. Like, that's nonsense. And even so, even if, you know, two people have built it together, no one has the right to control the other person. And um, there's ways to do that, to, to get to express what you want and what you need without it being anger you know and another um emotion that comes from like not being able to control things is pain right our greatest lessons are learned through pain and those are you know you couldn't control a situation and it hurts you right someone passes away you couldn't control it you feel pain and of course anger is part of the stages of grief as well but that pain, that that stab in the heart never goes away. And, uh, but the anger does. So I think it's just really important that um, you learn to relinquish control. Um, the sooner that um, you accept the fact that you can't control the world, you can't control people, well, most people, I mean, I guess some people are controllable or will allow you to control them if, you know, they're benefiting from you, maybe, I don't know. Um, but you can't control the outcome of things. You can't control how things are gonna go, how people are gonna react to your behavior. Um, you just, once you, you accept that fact and you learn, you know, you learn that, you'll have a much greater sense of peace. It, um, it's kind of a, a go with the flow um, kind of attitude, I guess. Um, it's been mistaken on my behalf. You know, people have been like, oh, you're so nonchalant. 
or I don't get, you know, they're trying to get a rise out of me and it's not happening and you just don't care about things. And I'm a Pisces. I care about everything. Like I'm, I'm like the truest empath there is. And, um, I've had to learn how to channel that energy. You know, when I walk into a, a room or a situation and I can feel other people's energy, um, before, you know, if, if I walked in, I'm around a depressed person, then I would feel sad, you know, depressed and I wouldn't know where it came from. And, you know, or being around angry people, then I would all of a sudden like have this, this antsy anger like in me and I wouldn't even know why, but it's the empath in me. So I had to learn how to channel that energy and, and recognize where it was coming from. So it's never been like, I don't care. I'm nonchalant. I've just learned that I can't control people or situations or the world and um, the only thing I can do is control how I react, um, how I treat people. Um, sorry, I got like hair in my mouth. That's so annoying. I hope I didn't just spread my lipstick everywhere. Anyway, um, so relinquish that control and enjoy your peace once you do that because no matter what, the world's going to keep going and people are going to do what they want to do either, you know, behind your back or um, in front of your face. Um, but I promise you just putting a, putting yourself in situations that you just, you can control or around people that are gonna allow you to control them. There's no healing or growth in that and you're gonna always respond in anger. And anger is not a healthy emotion. Um, it's gonna cause high blood pressure. It's gonna cause stress. It's gonna cause, um, a cycle of um, damage to those around you and to yourself. You're going to um, break relationships and miss opportunities and block your own blessings um, that we talked about because you um, you reacted in anger and you didn't um, take that time to realize like, okay, why am I upset? What, you know, I can't control this situation. Got it. What can I control? Okay, I can keep my damn mouth shut and I can think about this and maybe see where the other person's coming from and come to a compromise or, you know, whatever it is, every situation's going to be different. Obviously, you know, we have a lot of big shit going on in the world and we need to, we need to be angry. We need to speak up, you know, until things are right. Um, but there's always a way to handle that anger. It doesn't mean you have to hurt other people in the process, right? It should never hurt other people just because you're angry or you're hurt. We have these sayings, you know, hurt people, hurt people, and all of this stuff, and it's true. Like, they're not sayings for no reason, okay? So, just because you're hurt and you're angry um, and you haven't healed doesn't give you the right to go around hurting other people, being angry, taking it out on other people. Um, just, just do the healing. And, and be a good person and bring peace in your life. And then you can, um, a little bird just kind of flew up, that was cool. Um, and then you can you can spread that peace. But as long as you're holding anger in your heart and that's, that's your root emotion, that's what you go to, you're never gonna be the person that you were intended to be. And you're never gonna do the good that you were meant to do. So I hope you enjoy your Sunday. Um, don't be angry. Love your family and your friends and your spouses. Give them a hug and a kiss. And um, don't take that time for granted, you guys. Peace and love.